Hey guys, this week we are making this cute little yeti cake. I thought it's about time another mythical creature got a chance to shine over unicorns for a change. For this cake, I'm starting a little different by using buttercream as my glue and sticking down a five inch cake. My vanilla cake recipe video is always linked in the description box. Stack your cake up six layers high. This is just three individual five inch cakes just sliced in half. To stop your cake from wobbling too much or having a layer slide off, you can insert a straw down the center and trim it level. As an optional extra, you can trim off the caramelization from the outer edges using a serrated knife. Start carving the very top layer into a dome, just taking off little bits at a time. I'm using buttercream for this cake instead of ganache. I know, shock horror. It's not traveling anywhere, it's just for us to eat, but if it was for a client, I'm more likely to use white chocolate ganache to give it extra stability. Again, the recipe for my buttercream is also linked in the description box. You can see as I've been carving and pushing on the cake, the straw is now protruding, so always cut it a bit lower than your top tier as the sponge settles into its final height. Just cover the whole thing to seal the sponge in and give it a quick smooth over with an acetate smoother. Leave this layer to set before adding a second layer. You can speed up the process by putting it in the fridge, but I prefer to leave mine at room temperature until I can touch the buttercream and it doesn't come off on my finger. For the second layer, I'm just using my Pro Froster without the arm on to make sure my sides are straight and then smoothing the dome with the acetate. Once that layer has set, you can cover the board using the toilet seat method in deep teal. The full step-by-step -step for this method again is linked in the description box. I chose to use teal instead of white snow as the buttercream will always have a slight yellow tint and look a bit mismatched against clean bright white. The arms are just cones of white sugar paste. This is the size I want the arm to be, but you have to remember when piping buttercream on, it's going to make the arm appear much thicker. So always make the body parts a little smaller than you want them to be to accommodate that extra layer of buttercream. This freshly shaved pooch proves my point much better. Insert a kebab stick up inside the cone and slide it down at an angle into the cake. The sticks will help the arm stay in place. Next, roll out a pale blue oval of paste and attach it to the front with a little water. Using a scalpel, cut out where you want the face to be. With a Dresden tool, mark in a jelly bean type shape and a little curve at the bottom for the tongue. You can use a scalpel to remove this part. If your shape is clean enough, you can get away with just painting it with black paint, or you can insert black sugar paste if you prefer. The tongue is a little pink lemon shape that is slightly flat across the bottom. Insert this and tap it into place. The Yeti's feet are made from the same blue as the face. Roll an oval and then run your finger across the centre, flattening out where the heel is and leaving the ball of the foot a little chunkier. Place this on a foam mat and roll small ovals varying in size for the toes. You'll need two feet and you can place a little kitchen roll under the toes until they've dried. Here we almost had a mini disaster when a foot tried to escape. <laughs> and yes, I was listening to Moana. The Yeti's eyes are just black squashed balls of paste. I've put one higher than the other because I thought it would look cuter with his head tilted. In hindsight, I should have also tilted the blue oval, but we can fix this when we come to pipe the fur by offsetting it. The cheeks are flattened balls of pink placed just over the bottom of each eye. And here I am debuting my nostril. The new camera is a little harder to check to see if the cake is in shot. The eyebrows are little tapered sausages of white, just stuck on with water. The 
The horns are rolled in the same way as the hands in the dark teal and I'm just making sure they stay put with cocktail sticks. If you are tilting your Yeti's head like mine, make sure to also tilt the horns. Here I've got my piping bag full of buttercream and a grass tip. You can use any tip you like, even a tiny star tip would look nice. A little tip is to start near the back first, just to get into the swing of it. Once you've found your floor, start working on the front, going from one side to the other and leaving the back. This is because if you run out of buttercream and your next batch is slightly different colour or consistency, it will only be noticeable at the back and it won't ruin the front. As you can see, I'm not great at piping and should have probably put down some cling film first, but hats off to those who pipe buttercream like this regularly. I was ready to leave the back completely bald after my hands just cramped and gave up. Never again, thank you. Any bits on the board, leave them to set before scraping it off with a scalpel. Once the feet have dried, hold them up to see how you would like to place them and then push them into the buttercream to leave an impression. The feet can be a little heavy, so these won't stick on their own. Add a little cocktail stick just to anchor them on. And we're finally done. This cute little Yeti was based on one of my early lockdown doodles, which I thought would transfer well into cake. I hope to see a few more Yetis on my social media to take over those unicorns. Unfortunately, he didn't last very long. After his photographs, he was quickly deconstructed, popped into bowls and smothered in hot custard. Mmm, buttercream Yeti. If you give him a go, please tag me over on Instagram as I would love to see them. And I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.